Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by Welcome to the tutorial video for Amberia Starlight and Vengeance, the first expansion for the card game Amberia by Paul Warrior Games. Starlight and Vengeance includes two decks, one for Malevany and one for Ingduel. To start the game, each player chooses one of the decks to use. Each player shuffles their deck and places the next four cards face down on the left. These are called your arcane cards. Deal five cards to start your hand and put the deck on the right. Amberia is a points-based game. The objective is to have the most Ember Stones at the end of the game. Each card is worth a different value of Ember Stones, has a mode symbol, the name of the card, and the effect of the card. In Amberia, you will be following a turn order of five phases each turn. One of the phases of your turn order includes playing a card from your hand into the Emberscape. When you play a card into the Emberscape, you activate all possible effects on the card. Each turn you will be playing one card into your Emberscape, but the maximum amount of cards it can hold is five. You will also have a pile of cards above your Emberscape called the Mode Pile. The mode symbol on the card on the top of this pile determines what mode of gameplay you are currently in. When a new card goes on top of this pile, your mode instantly changes to the mode symbol on that card. The first phase of your turn is the Collection Phase. During the Collection Phase, if your Emberscape is full, Collect the cards in your Emberscape by putting them face down into your collection pile. At the end of the game, the amount of Ember Stones on each card in your collection pile gets added up to determine your total Ember Stone value. Once cards enter your collection pile, there's no way for anyone to get them out. After collecting the cards in your Emberscape during the collection phase, flip over and play one of your Arcane cards. Treat this Arcane card as if it had come out of your hand, and activate all possible effects on the card. If you reach the collection phase and your Emberscape is not full, skip this phase. The next phase is the Mode phase. During the Mode phase, you can put a card from your hand on top of your Mode pile. This will change your mode of gameplay. When you put a card on your Mode pile, it is only to change your mode. The effects of the card are not activated. The Mode phase is optional unless your Mode pile is empty, in which case you must play a Mode card. Next is your Draw phase. Draw one card from the top of your deck and put it into your hand. Next is the play phase. Choose one card from your hand and play the card into the Emberscape. When you play a card, activate all possible effects on the card in the order they're written. Each sentence on the card is considered a separate effect. If you are unable to resolve one of the effects on the card, you still resolve all possible effects. Next is your end phase. The max hand size in Amberia is 9 cards, and if you have more than 9 cards here, you have to discard down to 9. If you reach the end phase with no cards in your hand, draw two from the top of the deck. Continue playing until one player plays their last arcane card. That triggers the end of the game and players count their total emberstone value in their collection piles to determine the winner. Some card effects include a word in bold. Words in bold are considered key actions and are specifically defined for Amberia. When you capture a card, put the targeted card into your emberscape without resolving the effects of that card. When you steal a card, put the targeted card into your hand. When you collect a card, put the card into your collection pile. When a card is destroyed, it goes into that player's discard pile. During the game, other players will be targeting you with these key actions. While you are in protection mode, the key actions cannot affect cards in your emberscape or your hand. The mode pile and deck are not protected from key actions while in protection mode. Any effect that is not a key action will still affect you while you're in protection mode. While you're in greedy mode, draw an extra card during the draw phase. While you're in hasty mode, if you get to the collection phase and there are at least three cards in your emberscape, collect all of the cards in your emberscape. Still flip over and play one of your arcane cards after collecting the cards in your emberscape this way. While you are in attack mode, when you fill up your emberscape during your play phase, you collect all the cards in your emberscape then, rather than waiting until your next collection phase. When you collect the cards in your emberscape in attack mode, still flip over and play one of your arcane cards. 
Unless otherwise indicated, when you play a card it goes into your emberscape. Some cards have a play symbol, which indicates it gets played a little differently. If a card has this symbol, play it into the discard pile and activate its effects rather than the emberscape. If a card has this symbol, play it into your collection pile and activate its effects rather than into your emberscape. Cards that have this symbol include lasting effects. Play these cards into the emberscape sideways, so players remember that these effects are affecting gameplay. The lasting effects of this card will be in play until the card leaves the emberscape. These symbols are for the martyr cards. Each deck has four martyrs, one for each of the four different modes of gameplay. Martyrs can be played from your hand onto any player's mode pile at any time. When a martyr is played onto a mode pile, that player's mode is instantly changed to the mode of that card. Martyrs can be used as response effects, which can happen in response to anything else that happens during the game. The only other way to use a response effect is through the Magician's Tactic card. When you play a Magician's Tactic, the X symbol indicates it gets played into your discard pile, but the effect allows you to play a card from your hand face down into the Emberscape. Face down cards can't be targeted by those key actions, even if you're not in protection mode. You can flip over and play the face down card at any time during the game in response to anything else that happens. When you play a response card, the effects of the response happen first, and then the effect that it was played in response to. When learning the rules, use the reference cards included in each deck to remember the modes of gameplay and the turn order. For more information about Amburia, visit our website.